Day 86 is your biggest challenge yet. You're going to create your own blog engine. So yes, written blogs might be a bit 1996, but we're bringing them back, baby. Long form writing has always had a place on the internet and you're going to build your own blog engine. No more do you need to worry about the likes of WordPress bogging down your server. We're going to write it in one flask file and a couple of HTML files. Your job is very, very simple. You're going to create a website with a login page. That login page will allow you to log in under one user account only. That's your user account. If you are logged in, you will see a list of the existing blog posts and a way to add a new post. That will be a text box that when you click submit, adds it to your blog using RepletDB. At this point, you do not need to program any code to edit old blogs or mess around with them. You can do that if you want, but we don't need to do that. Now here's the clever part. If you are not logged in, and you'll need to handle that with sessions, of course, but if you're not logged in, you will show the user the blog feed. You will show the blog entries on one continuous feed on a single page where there will be a login button to log in if you are an admin. This simple blogging system will allow your audience to come to your site and read the text of your blog whilst you can log in with your username and password that you will know and add to your blog as you go. If you're getting stuck, don't forget every other week we do a live show called Replit 101 where we answer your programming questions. You could ask our very helpful community in the Discord on the 100 Days of Code channel, or you could pop along to ask.replit.com where we have a specific section for 100 Days of Code questions. Of course, once you're done, share it with us in the community by publishing it and use that hashtag Replit 100 Days of Code so that we know where it is. Now, we've spent quite a few lessons basically building a login system for a website and it is quite complicated and this is where i feel a little bad because replit auth allows you to put a login system with just one click and we're going to look at that tomorrow i'm sorry for wasting your time until now i really am